prep teens for summer, tips to help them get their friends contact information. So school year is ending. Kids need to start thinking about getting cell phone numbers of their friends. And so this is one of the things that a lot of kids will forget to do. And then they're super bored all summer or they're just on endless, endless video games. In order to do this, what we want to do is, first of all, find out who are these friends that they would want to text over the summer. So I would probe a little bit about who are they like hanging out at lunch with? Who do they sit with at lunch? And make sure that they are an active member of that group and they are considered a friend of those kids. So some of the things I would want to know is, are they, when they talk, do the other kids listen? If they tell a joke, do the other kids laugh? Do the other kids hang out to outside of school and do they all have their own cell numbers, you have exchanged cell numbers already and only your kid hasn't. Um, those are some things I'd want to know. And I'd want to know like if they feel comfortable sharing something kind of unprompted with the group or do they feel too nervous that maybe it would go unanswered. And so just how, how deep are those friendships? So I'd kind of want to investigate that a little bit and then create a little bit of a list. Think about who the, the close circle of friends would be if there is anybody in there. You know, if, if maybe there's some like a kid or two, hopefully there's at least two in there, but you never know. Sometimes kids don't have any or they might have just one kid that they hang out with. And then who's in that next circle out that kids that you might want to hang out with if you had some more time or if you knew them a little bit better and you might be able to kind of fold them into any social activities that you're doing over the summer. So they are some other people that you might want to get their contact information from. So when teens get contact information from other teens, it's something that they do all the time. It's not a big deal. And so when your teen asks for it, they can also make sure that they're not making a big deal about it. It's a really simple, quick thing. Hey, how about we, how about we text this summer? You know, can you want to give me your cell? And then what would happen is the kid would give the cell and then your teen would open up his phone you know, type in the number for that kid, but make sure they put a name to it. There's so many phones that have just a list of phone numbers of, of kids that don't have any names associated with that. And then if they want to share something else like, you know, gamer tag, you know, Discord, Snapchat or whatever, they can put that in the notes so that they have the information on the kid. And then we usually what happens is the teen who just got the number shoots a quick text over to the person who just gave it to them. So then they also have their number. So that's usually how it's done. It's, it's within seconds. It's super, super fit, super fast. So once you get that cell number, let's say your teen does start to text, you know, some of these people in the new newly added contacts. And after, you know, a couple, two or three times, there's been no response to the texting, then I would stop. That means, you know, kids, kids will respond pretty quickly usually. So if they're not responding after like three text messages and you know, it might be on vacation or something. And if they are, maybe they'll text back when they get back. But, you know, people have their cell phones no matter where they are usually. So they would usually text back. So if, if that's the case, then, you know, stop texting after like three times. The other thing that could happen is if your kid says, hey, let's, you know, exchange cell numbers for the summer or whatever. And the other kid is giving a bunch of kind of excuses for why they can't give that cell number, then he, they need to just let it go and not give that cell number because they might have all kinds of excuses like my mom won't let me or, you know, I don't remember it or oh, I'll hitch up later you know, or something like that. If they're, they're not really kind of at the ready to give it, then there's some reluctance there. And so they should probably just kind of give up and not seek that that particular cell number from that person. Um, but the important thing is to just kind of, you know, think about who those friends are, you know, the ones who are kind of the low hanging fruit, be super chill about it. Hey, you want to exchange cell numbers over the summer? Boom, that's it. Put it in the phone, text back, done. It doesn't need to be a big deal. It doesn't need to be a big elaborate conversation around it because it's, it's a pretty, it's a thing that kids really do give out quite easily and very casually. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button, hit subscribe. We're doing a lot of videos on how to help children, teens, and young adults improve their social lives and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you have a child who has some social awkwardness or maybe needs a little bit of help with friendships, we do have a summer program that starts on July 8th and we work with kids ages on eight through young adults. So we have eight to 11, we have teen and we have our young adult groups. So hit us up, you know, schedule a phone call to talk to us about what your child's needs are. We'll see if our program is a good fit for them and we can schedule a free trial and see how it goes.